So man, um, I want to get straight into this. We're going to do two videos, one th this video and then we're going to do another video, another video. But this one I want to talk about, I want to talk about the situation between Canelo, he's fighting Bivo, but apparently so man, Baterbiev and Joe Smith are going to fight in June. And um, the winner of that fight is going to hold three belts. Um... I wanted to ask your opinion on the fact that Canelo's fighting Golovkin in September. If he does beat Dimitri Bivol, would you like to see him scrap the Golovkin fight and go straight into a fight with the winner of Golovkin, I mean, with Baterbiev and Smith for the undisputed 175 pound championship? Yeah, I'd rather see that fight, to be honest, because I think Golovkin's too old now. I think Golovkin's going to get beaten up, to be honest. I don't really want to see him get punished. Um, I'd rather him fight the winner of Joe Smith, Baterbiev. For the undisputed title than the Golovkin. I don't really want to see the Golovkin three fight because I don't really think it's a fair fight now, to be honest. Because I think Golovkin's over the hill. Um, now he's too old. Why, why, why does Canelo want to fight 42, 43 year old? It, does, it doesn't make sense. Salman, if Baterbiev, firstly, how do you see the Baterbiev Smith fight going? I think probably Baterbiev probably edges that one. Um, I think Baterbiev will probably knock him out. Um, yeah, I don't think, I think Baterbiev is probably better than Joe Smith. I think he'll knock him out. I think he'll rough him up and get the stoppage. Salman, Canelo Alvarez, he's got a very tough fight with Dimitri Bivol. He could lose that fight. You know, Bivol is a very, very great fighter. Firstly, how do you see that one going? Uh, Salman, a lot of people are, are picking Bivol to, to do the job on him. But a lot of people are saying Andre Ward said that Bivol will win, may win the fight, but he'll get robbed on the scorecards. How do you how do you see it? Do you think Bivol is a proper proper problem for Canelo Alvarez? Don't get me wrong. Obviously, he's a lot. He's a big guy, but I think it'll be a good fight. I think it'll be a good fight. Um, I think it'll be a lot closer to what people think. But I, I personally think I think Canelo will win. To be honest. Um, yeah, my mind's telling me Canelo, to be honest. I think Canelo will beat Bivol. Um, unless Bivol can show me something that I've never seen before. But I just think with a run Canelo's on at the minute, I don't think... I think he's he's unbeatable at the minute. Um, I can't really see anyone beating him. Too. I, th I would pick Canelo personally. Uh, I think Canelo's more skillful. He's got the ring IQ. He's just, he knows what he's doing. He, he can adapt to different styles where Bivol... He's not got the experience Canelo has. Um, he doesn't have the ring IQ Canelo has. He's not fought as many styles as Canelo. He's not sparred guys like Canelo. He's, it's just, I think Canelo's got the advantage. I um, mean, so many, so many different ways. Like he's fought, Canelo's fought Mayweather. He's fought Golovkin. He's fought, he's fought so many good, great fighters. And I just think that experience, you can't beat that. Um, and I think if anyone's going to find a way, it's going to be Canelo, to be honest. Bivol will have to perform out of his skin to get a victory here. Um, the, the only way I can see Bivol really winning is if Canelo has a really off night and he's a really slow night or, you know, really lethargic night. But if he's on it 100%, I think Canelo will do a job on him, to be honest, quite in a quite good fashion as well. So, man, if Canelo does win and then Baterbia wins, a lot of people there, again are saying Baterbiev is too big, too strong. You know, they're saying that he's a monster. He is a monster. He is the monster at, at light heavyweight. Do you see there's a chance that Baterbiev may knock out Canelo and, and really rough him up, beat him up and, and stop him? No, I don't think he knocks out Canelo, to be honest. I don't see anyone knocking out Canelo. Um, too strong, too chin. Chin's too good. You just can't knock those guys out. Like, unless he was to move up crazy weight, he's not getting knocked out. I don't think Baterbia punches hard enough to knock Canelo out. To knock somebody like Canelo out, you would literally have to... It'd have to be... It'd have to be a punch from the gods. But apart from that, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think he can knock Canelo out. I think Canelo may be able to knock him out, but I don't think he can knock Canelo out. I think Canelo's too tough. But Salman, he's fighting a big, big puncher at light heavyweight, a monster puncher. 
Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, but the thing is, Canelo's chin is too good. Um, and I don't think he punches that hard where he's going to knock out Canelo. What about the pressure? I don't, I don't see. Yeah, but it's different when you're fighting Canelo. The yeah, but Golovkin, like, Golovkin was able to do it. Yeah, but Golovkin's a different. He's a different sort of. Golovkin's a great. He's a great fighter. So is Baterbiev. Yeah, but. So are not, you telling me Golovkin beats Baterbiev? Golovkin's a better fighter than Baterbiev at his own weight. Yes, he was. He was more of a killer. At his own yeah, weight. but but he's more feared. Yeah, but but Golovkin, but Baterbiev is bigger than Golovkin. Yeah, no, but what I'm saying is, at their respected weight, Golovkin was a lot better than Baterbiev. Uh, but you'll see, you'll see, and Baterbiev's gone down as well, so he's not as durable as Canelo. Canelo's not been down in his whole career, um, and he's fought big guys. It's Whatever he's fought every style basically is what my point is. Whereas these guys are coming in at a disadvantage. They've never fought the best. Do you know what I mean? They've never fought anyone that's that great. Who's Bitterbiev or Bivel fought but that? But Salman, that Salman, you keep saying that. You keep Excuse saying that. Me, but then you know hot. we were talking off camera. You were talking about Andre Ward, and you were saying that Andre Ward. But who did Andre Ward fight? Like let's be honest. Andre Ward never fought Stevenson. Andre Ward never fought Baterbiev. Andre Ward never fought Bivol. Who's he fought on those type of level of guys? Tell me one fighter that Andre Ward has beat that's better than Bivol, that's better than Stevenson, that's better than Ding. Yeah, he fought Kovalev, but let's be honest, Kovalev beat him in that first fight. And the second fight, Ward got, you know, Kovalev was on the decline. We all know that. You know, look what Canelo did to Ko Kovalev. So the point I'm trying to make is... Yeah, well. is that. What Canelo did to Kovalev was five years later, or three years later, or whatever. Yeah, but C C C Ward knocked him out in seven rounds. Yeah, I know, but and Canelo knocked it, him out in eleven yeah, rounds. Yeah, but th that's but the point I'm trying to make is Ward Kovalev was done. You know that Kovalev was, you know, he was having a drinking issue. He was, he wasn't the same man after that first fight. But in the first fight, Ward got dropped by Kovalev. You know, he got dropped by him, and he got lost that fight. You know, even Bernard Hopkins and Roy Jones said that he lost that fight. You know, but when you think about it, who did Ward fight on Bivol's level? Who did Ward fight on 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 Baterbiev's level? You know, what's to say that Ward would have beaten Baterbiev? You know, Baterbiev's bigger than Ward. He's stronger than Ward. He, he would have he would have hunted Ward down. He would have hunted him down. How's Ward going to be able to keep Baterbiev off? Ward can't punch. How's he going to keep? Baterbiev? Oh, I think I think Ward can punch. To be oh, honest. stop it! So I he mean, can punch harder than he can, he can keep Baterbiev off then. But Froch kept coming all night. Yeah, but Froch has got a granite chin. Oh, so Baterbiev's a big... So you're, what are you saying? Froch would beat Baterbiev now? Yeah, but Froch, if you look at... If you, Baterbiev you know, knocks Carl Froch out. And you I don't know, know about that. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, who, who, who's Baterbiev knocked out? He, he'll knock out Carl Froch, I can assure you. I can, okay. I can assure you Baterbiev would have knocked out a prime. The thing fight. is, I don't... The thing is with me, like, I'm very... I don't... I have He's going to knock out Joe Smith. Yeah, but Joe, I don't know, I expect him to knock out Joe Smith. Okay, but have knocked out Govzik, who knocked out Adonis Stevenson. There you go. Yeah, but what, what my point is that I don't really, I've got to see, you know, a volume of fights to rate fighters. You know, I don't just rate fighters off, you know, a few good fights. The fi yeah, but like I said, who did Andre Ward beat then? Yeah, but the, my point is Andre Ward beat all the guys that are in and around his weight class. But the who were they? Who were they? Who were they? Obviously, I don't Kessler. I know the main ones, but I don't know all of them. Yeah, yeah. But the point Kessler, is, that they, Frotch, weren't, they weren't great. All they the weren't guys great won fighters. the Super Series. No, 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 no. no. Those were, were the they great guys. fighters, though? Were they were they Hall of Famers? Was Kessler a Hall of Famer? Was Frotch a Hall of Famer? Were they were great legends or whatever? Yeah, but the thing is, obviously, with the Frotch one, he beat Frotch easy. So yeah, but so, so what? So Canelo beat Smith and Saunders and all those guys easy as well. Yeah, but you would say Frotch is better than those guys, Smith and Saunders, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so what? He battered him. He, Carl Fro Andre went the distance with him. Canelo destroyed all those guys. I don't. I don't get what was. Andre Ward's obviously had his career. He was undefeated. Like I don't get. And what, what's the point about being under? What the point I'm trying to make is that Andre Ward never beat anyone as good as Arthur Baterbiev. Yes or no? But I don't know about who who Arthur Baterbiev beat. I don't know. No, 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 no. But the fact is that the fact is from what we're seeing. Arthur Baterbiev is the boogeyman of the light heavyweight division. That's what you believe, and let's see how if he stays. So he's gonna he's 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 he's, he's gonna he's gonna beat Joe Smith. You even said he's gonna beat Joe Smith. Okay. Yeah, and then he's gonna have three belts. Yeah. And then the winner of Canelo Bivol is gonna have the other one, right? If we were to do a survey right now, 
it would be a 50-50 split on who wins against Canelo and Baterbiev because Baterbiev is massive and strong. A lot of people think that Baterbiev does Canelo. But I personally like Canelo, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure. That's the only fight that I think Canelo gets could potentially get beat against, right? So the next point I'm going to come on. So who do you think wins, Canelo or Baterbiev? Uh, you've got to, with me personally, I, um, I, I edge towards Canelo. But is it a case where you're sure about that fight? Is it a case where you no, wouldn't be sure because Canelo's moving up crazy weight, but I'm not sure about Bivol, but there's no difference between the Bivol and Baterbiev. Do you think, right? do you think, do you think Baterbiev is more dangerous than Smith, Saunders, Plant and all yeah, that? Yeah, because he's bigger. He's bigger, but shrink him down to those guys, no. If you shrink him Bro, down to those weights... Baterbiev not... would knock the snot out of Callum Smith. All right, let's see then if he knocks the snot out of Canelo then. He's a bigger guy. He's got more power. Let's no, no, but I'm saying, Baterbiev, I'm saying Baterbiev would beat Callum Smith. I'm not, I don't know about that, probably. But what my point is, is that he, you don't he, he's know such a big it. puncher and he's so big and strong. Did, did you let's not see, see did, 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 you, did you see not what he did to Marcus Brown? Okay, let's see if he can do the same thing to Canelo. Canelo's no, I'm not Marcus saying Brown. about Canelo. I'm saying, I'm saying the fact is that you're saying that Andre Ward would school Baterbiev. I'm saying... No, no, I never... I, never, I, I personally, if you ask me to pick... I think Andre Ward would beat Baterbiev. How? Yes. How? I'm telling you, how does he beat Baterbiev? I think he would beat him on points. But how? How? Without boxing. But how can you outbox somebody like that? He's a pressure fighter. Well, there were a lot of fighters that were pressure fighters. He's a pressure fighter. That's a very technically sound boxer. That's a big puncher. Andre Ward struggled against a boxer in Kovalev. Is, you know, styles make fights. You know, Andre Ward. So, so okay, okay. How's Andre Ward gonna beat him? Baterbiev's very strong on the inside. How's how's Andre yeah, Ward? And Andre Ward's strong on the inside. <laughs> well, well, but but against who though? Strong against who? That's what I'm asking you. Uh, all the fighters at so, 168. Okay, okay, okay. All of the fighters at 168, and all of the fighters at 168 were stronger than Baterbiev on the inside. Then I don't know about that, but my point is that I would pick Andre Ward to beat Baterbiev. And um, by the way, Baterbiev's gonna lose by the end of his career. Mark my words, he'll yeah, lose quite a few times. No, 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 that's, both, that's nonsense. He will, he will. By Canelo, I, I personally think Canelo will beat him. Yeah, Canelo, I, I feel Canelo beat him, but not yeah, but lose you got, Yeah, but you've you, you got to realise Canelo's moving up weight to beat him as well. It's not like, oh, this guy's at his weight. Yeah, but okay, but Canelo's you don't know that. Weight. We don't know that if Baterbiev... I'm, I'm quite sure that Canelo beats Baterbiev. I'll be shocked if Canelo loses to Bivol. Shocked? Well. You'll be shocked if he loses to Baterbiev. I, I don't think... I, my, my thing is this... But Terbia has to knock Canelo out, and I don't think he's going to knock Canelo out personally. I think Canelo's ring okay. craft and skill. Okay, level. who wins, Canelo or Andre Ward? Then let's come on to Canelo and Andre Ward. I've always said that I've. I just think styles make fights, and I think Andre Ward would beat Canelo. Oh, that's rubbish. How does Andre Ward beat Canelo? Why does he not? He's. I don't personally think Canelo's going to knock Andre Ward out, and he's not going to outbox Andre Ward. And he's not gonna. You got to realize he's not gonna. What? 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 Why? Why wouldn't Andre Ward beat Canelo? Why? So okay, would Andre Ward would a you, okay, No, 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 no. So no, no. Is that no, an easy no, night no, to no, no, work for no, Canelo? No, no, no. Listen, so you're telling me if Canelo beats Bivol and Baterbiev that your opinion wouldn't change about Canelo beating Andre Ward? No, don't get me wrong. I think it's a good fight. I'm not. But I'm, if you ask me to pick just on the spot, who would win? No, prime no, no, prime. No, no, I, I've got to no, go with Andre Ward. No, no, okay. But answer this question. If Canelo beats Baterbiev and Bivol in emphatic fashion, would your opinion about him beating Andre Ward change, yes or no? Because you'd have to change your opinion. Because there's no way Andre Ward would beat Baterbiev easy. There's no way. There's no way. If, 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 look. Yeah, but did Canelo beat Kovalev easy? Was Kovalev out cold in that fight? Yeah, he was out. He yeah, was out. So there we go then. He, he was wasn't out. out against, you know, Ward hit him in the nuts. A few times, you know. Yeah, but the thing is that so the right hand that Ward did. Yeah, and what wobbled happened? Him. He wobbled him, but he was still up. But yeah, right when the right hand landed from Canelo, what happened? He was out sleeping. Yeah, but the difference is one guy knocked him out in seven rounds through wearing him down. We're not wearing him and down. This guy hit him punch. in the nuts. He uppercut him in the nuts. A few yeah, times. but the fight, at the end of the day, the guy he still got knocked out. Kovalev was finished. No, 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 no. Kovalev was rounds. Kovalev was sleeping when he fought Canelo. Yeah, but it is what it is. But it was a nip and tuck fight. And Andre Ward, Ward fight. Andre Andre Ward was a great fighter. Don't get me wrong, but he was a little overrated. He never had the resume that Canelo had, and he never. He, he, and, and yeah, but do you know one thing? One thing I'll say, right? 
you can't please everyone. Like, pe so, so, some people are out here saying that Floyd Mayweather was overrated. No, no, but Floyd wasn't overrated. Floyd was yeah, a magician. Yeah, but the thing is, what my point Andre is. Andre Ward is, is not Floyd. Stop well, well, it. No, I'm not, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that he's Floyd, but I'm saying that if you're out here trying to please everyone, you can't please everyone. I'm, I'm the, sorry. The fact, the but, point is, the point is that Andre Ward never beat anyone like Bivol or Baterbiev. He beat Sergey Kovalev, who he robbed in the first fight. Kovalev won that fight, irrespective of what anybody says. Kovalev won that first fight, right? If you think Canelo lost to Golovkin in the first fight, then so did Andre Ward. Andre Ward got beat in that fight. He got dropped. He got outboxed. He got everything. You, you, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. He, he lost that fight. You know he lost that fight. You know, you can't, you, you can't say it any other way. Andre Ward lost to Sergey Kovalev in that first fight. Everybody saw that. Everybody saw that. Yeah, but then that's like saying that a lot of people thought, you know, Mayweather lost as well. Yeah, so but Mayweather, Mayweather did lose. But that's, you see, it's, it's all, it's all subjective. Is, Mayweather, it's all subjective. Mayweather had a lot more great wins. Mayweather beat Maidana. Mayweather beat Cotto. Mayweather beat, you know, Zab Judah. Mayweather, beat, you can't yeah, compare with well, My point is people still hate on him saying that, oh, he didn't fight Brothers, this Forget about the hate. Everybody, everybody knows about Mayweather's greatness. But Andre Ward isn't Mayweather. He's nowhere near that level. I, I you know, agree. His I agree. resume is nowhere near that level. You know, Can agree. Canelo has a way better resume than Andre Ward. I agree. Yeah. Oh, I think he does. So the point I'm trying to make is that if Canelo beats Baterbiev and Bivol, people's opinion has to change about who's greater at 175. Yeah, but in my opinion, Canelo is already greater than Andre Ward because yeah, yeah. he's moved up more weight classes. So yeah, yeah, but in my great. opinion, he's he's a greater fighter. But if you're asking me who would win at, at 168, then that's different. But that's One what I'm asking you. So a lot of people think Pacquiao's a greater what, fighter than Mayweather, but is he a better fighter in no, terms okay, of if they were to get in the that's ring? That's what I'm win? asking you. That's what I'm asking you. Would your opinion change if Canelo beats Baterbiev and Bivol? No, because I, I think styles make fights. But what style? What style does Andre, styles make fights? Andre and Ward, Andre improved. Ward, Andre Ward, Andre Ward isn't. Andre Ward is a guy that you can get to. A good boxer like can get to. Kovalev proved it. He showed the blueprint. He showed the blueprint. Kovalev beat him, didn't he? He, he, he put him down, didn't he? he? He outboxed him at times in that fight, didn't he? So Andre Ward isn't this... When, when did you ever see Mayweather outboxed? Yeah, but Mayweather's the greatest fighter of all time. No, like, no, that's no. So, that's, that's stupid. No, no, but the fact is Andre Ward, for me, was a good fighter, but I think people overrate him a little bit. He, he wasn't, like, his resume was, wasn't as great as somebody like Canelo Alvarez. It's a Floyd's resume. You know, Andre Ward beat the guys that were there at the time. It's a bit like Nazim Hamed. He beat the guys that were there at the time, but who were they? You know? So at the end of the day, when Nazim Hamed came up against a real fighter, a real fighter against Marco Antonio Barrera, he beat him. Right? And the same way with Andre Ward, when he came up against a real fighter in Sergei Kovalev, you know, Kovalev did a job on him in that first fight and he got jobbed. It's fair enough. And then in the second fight, you know, Kovalev did what Andy Ruiz did, went and partied, got drunk and stuff and, and then came back a shadow of himself. And then Andre Ward did what he did. But at the end of the day, let's not make out that Andre Ward fought Froch and these guys and Kessler like he fought Hagler's and stuff, you know, and Sugar Ray Leonard and stuff. You know, he fought, he fought some, you know, decent competition. He was a good fighter, don't get me wrong, Andre Ward. But don't make out like Canelo had no chance against him and, and he would just school Canelo. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's no, bullshit. I don't, I don't, look, I think Canelo's better than the guys, obviously, Andre Ward fought, like Froch and Kessler, hands down. I just... You know, I think it's a lot better. I think it's a, I think it's a lot better fight than those fights because obviously Canelo's resume, and he's a lot better than those guys skillfully, and he's got, and he's got a granite chin as well. It's not obviously he's not gonna water and water and school that school. You know, Canelo how how he did Froch, of course not, because obviously Can Canelo's obviously a lot better in my opinion. You know, there's probably anyone that thinks you know anyone that wards for is better than Canelo is delusional. In my opinion, I think Warden versus Canelo is a great fight. I think that's one of the, you know, that's a really good fantasy fight. Mm. That's out there. But the thing is, that fight was obviously, that, you know, by the time Ward had finished, it, Canelo wasn't even at that weight at but, that point. But, but okay, so why didn't Ward fight Stevenson then? Who's Stevenson? Adonis Stevenson. Oh, that the one that knocked out Tony Bellew. Yeah. Well, obviously, that's, that's up to him. And if he doesn't want to go up weight, then... See, that, that's what Kathy, Kathy Duva said, that Canelo's superhuman. He would, he would have beaten Andre Ward. Andre Ward had a gift decision against Sergey Kovalev the first time. Andre Ward didn't fight Stevenson. He goes, Andre Ward sat around for inactive for a long period. And Andre Ward didn't 
had left a lot of opportunities out there on the table, you know. Uh, he didn't take a lot of fights, you know. Like I said, the Stevenson fight, you know, Baterbiev and Bibo was coming through, young, young blood. Andre Ward didn't fancy any of that stuff. You know, Andre Ward could have been still fighting a couple years after he retired, but he didn't fancy that. He didn't fancy those fights. You know, at the end of the day, it's all right sitting here and say, well, he would have beat Baterbiev and he would have done this and that. But what, what, what proof do we have he would have beaten Baterbiev? Baterbiev is a monster. Everybody knows that Baterbiev is a monster. You know, if I'm not mistaken, did Baterbiev beat Usyk in the amateurs? You know what I mean? Baterbiev was an absolute beast of a fighter. You know, so at the end of the day, like Andre Ward didn't fight that much top tier caliber. Do you think there's anyone that Andre Ward beat bar Sergei Kovalev that would have beaten Arthur Baterbiev? You know, Baterbiev would easily be probably, I think Baterbiev would have knocked Kovalev out. I do. I think he would have beaten Kovalev, you know, I do even in Kovalev's prime. Because Batabiev's a monster, he walks you down, he's a big puncher. He, he's a pressure big puncher, that's a very dangerous guy and he's technically sound. You know, that's a, that's a horrible fight for him. You know, Co Golovkin would have been a horrible fight for Ward, that wouldn't have been an easy fight. Would it? Would Golovkin have been an easy fight no, for no, Ward? No, it wouldn't have been an easy fight, no. But obviously, I don't know what the issue was, they were supposed to fight, but I don't know, I don't think Golovkin wanted to come up to 168. He was a bit like probably Ward, like just happy in his own weight class type of thing. It's like Golovkin didn't move up to fight Ward, and then, as you said, Ward didn't want to go up to fight Stevenson. What, what I didn't like about Ward, Ward beat Kovalev, and Ward thought he was the king at 175, but why didn't he fight Stevenson, who was the other champion? Maybe he thought that, you know, he's on the slide or he's, he's, he's finished now, probably. That's why I probably thought that if I, I fight think, Stevenson, I think, he, I, think he, I think he was an, uh, afraid of that left hand. That's what I think. Yeah, but it's heard. probably feeling that, you know, I'm not, I'm not the fighter I used to be. I'm if Stevenson now. hit Ward on the chin, Ward could have been out in that fight. Because Stevenson, we all know, was uh, him and Deontay Wilder were the two biggest punchers in boxing, pound for pound. Because if Stevenson hit you with that left hand, you were going to sleep. Everybody knows that. You know, it was sad what happened to Stevenson in his last fight against Govzik, where he, where, you know, he got put in, in a very serious condition. But Stevenson in his prime was a monster. Everybody knows that. His left hand was dangerous. Now, they didn't call him Adonis to Superman Stevenson for no reason. You know, and Ward, I don't think, wanted any part of that. Ward didn't want any of that smoke. You know, I think he felt the power of Sergei Kovalev and he thought, whoa, these guys are big and they hit hard up here. But, you know, Canelo would have gone for all of that smoke. You know, he's going for Bivol. You know, so at the end of the day, if Canelo beats Bivol and Baterbiev, I think we have to start rethinking about how those fights play out. Yeah, Styles do make fights, but people talk about, well, Canelo would have got beaten by Ward. And, you know, at the end of the day, let's be honest, people say Ward's good on the inside. He never fought anyone as strong as Canelo on the inside. He never got hit as hard by, you know, Canelo hits really hard. People make out like Canelo don't hit hard. He hits hard for 175. This guy's a monster of a puncher. You know, pe people people think, you know, Canelo could go to cruiserweight and win world titles. There's no doubt about it. You know, if Canelo fought Bradis or Lawrence or Collie, I, I wouldn't put my house on them guys to beat him. That's how dangerous he is. You know, at the end of the day, Canelo, Canelo is, is uh, people keep looking back at that Floyd fight. That was a long time ago. That was a decade ago now. And the thing is, you can't, you can't look at that Floyd fight because Floyd was a great himself. You know, there's not, there's not like, who beat Floyd? Do you know what I mean? So you can't look at that one. That's like one of the greatest fighters of all time. You know, he, it's not like he lost to someone. He lost to the best. So it, sometimes, let me tell you something. Sometimes someone's just better than you. Like you just gotta, you just gotta put your hats up. That he's just, no matter how much I train, he's just better than you. So that's what the Floyd thing was. As, as Bernard Hopkins said, it was Floyd, it was Canelo's apprenticeship that was. You know, it was, but obviously now he's a lot better and, you know, he's going to fight all these guys and let's see what happens. Mm. All right, leave your thoughts, guys. There's our opinion on, on the fight. Uh, we're going to give you part two, uh, talking about another topic. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys. Take care.